Hello everyone. This video will show how to simplify expressions using the double angle identities. On the left side, you will see the double angle identities. Let's take this first example. So we are given 1 minus 2 sine squared of 35. Now we look at the list of the double angle identities on the left. We can tell that this matches up with 1 minus 2 sine squared of A. So in the double angle identities, we actually have 1, and that matches up to 1 in the given problem that we have. And then we have a minus 2 sine squared of 35. That tells us that our A is, is actually equal to 35. So I'm going to write that down here. Now, please notice that this whole equation is equal to cosine 2a. So then we can go ahead and write here cosine of 2a. Because again, this whole thing is equal to 2a. Now, we see that our a is 35. So I'm going to plug it in. So this comes out cosine of 2 times 35, which comes out if we do the math, that's 2 times 35 is 70. This tells us that this expression is equal to cosine 70. So this is the answer to this expression right here. Now let's move on to the next example. So we are given 5 sine of 5m cosine of 5m. If you notice, this matches up the first one, 2 sine a cosine a. If you look closely, we actually have a match here. So we get a 2, we get a sine 5m matches to a, and we have a cosine 5m matches to cosine a. So we can go ahead and say that our a is actually 5m. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. Okay, if you notice, this whole thing is equal to sine 2a. So I'm going to go ahead and equal this whole thing to sine 2a. And we remember that our a is 5m, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it into a. So this comes out sine of 2 times 5m. Now if we do the math, 2 times 5m is 10m. So the answer that we have here is sine of 10m. Now let's move on to the next example. In this example, we're given 2 cosine squared of p plus 3 minus 1. If you notice, this matches up to this equation that we have right here. 2 cosine squared of a minus 1. If you notice again, our a here is equal to p plus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. We remember again that the one I circled in red is equal to cosine 2a. This means that this example that we have right here is equal to cosine 2a. Since our a is p plus 3, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the a. This comes out cosine of 2 quantity p plus 3. And so we go ahead and distribute the 2 to both terms inside the parentheses to p and 3. So this comes out cosine of 2p plus 6. So this is the simplified version of this expression that we have up there. So let's move on to the next example. If you notice, this example matches up to the one next to it. We can therefore go ahead and say that our a is equal to 3x. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. Again, if you look closely, everything else matches up. And that's how I got a is equal to 3x. And that's, in, that's the one inside the parentheses. So therefore, we can go ahead and say that this whole expression is equal to tangent to a. And again, since our 2a is 3x, I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the a. So this becomes 2 times 3x. Doing the math, this comes out tangent 6x. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. There you have it. That's how we simplify trigonometric expressions using the double angle identities. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!